in charge, I'm the interim deputy head teacher, and my role is um, basically I'm in charge of students, their welfare, their well being, um, making sure they're healthy and happy before they attend school in order to access learning. I'm Susan Watson, I'm supervisor of finance and personnel, and I'm also a staff member. We are in an area of high deprivation, so around about 40% of our students um, receive pupil premium funding, um, but there are also a large proportion of students who don't receive pupil premium funding and are kind of on the edge of um, sort of low wages who might struggle with being able to afford the things that students need for school. I'm parent in Bedside and I've got a child in year seven at the moment. It's quite a strict policy but I think that's really important because the children know exactly what they need to do and the parents know exactly what they need to do too and so I'd also just know what they're wearing every day and it's just quite easy. We undertook poverty briefing, I think it was about five or six years ago now, and there were a few um, areas whereby students identified that, that there was a real obvious difference between those who have and those that don't. Um, and one of those things was school bags, so, so the, the boys um, often felt judged for their trainer choices and, and the brand on their trainer, but the girls on the purchase of the bags and, and whether they had the red value bag. Um, and so what we did was, we said, well, actually, why don't we give them all branded backpacks? Um, and each year group have their own colours, and that's worked really, really well, hasn't it? Um, and, and a sense of identity, almost. And, and actually, we thought that we would struggle getting students to adopt that as, as, a, as a new measure, but actually, they were absolutely fine. I think it's important because it shows that you are know, part of the school community, and that like, everyone's part of that school. And we also supply even vouchers so that they could access enough of the ones and um, you know things like the trousers and the shirts that they can buy from supermarkets. And what we try to do is each year seven that comes through, we maintain the same procedure. But equally, there will be parents who we've not accessed um, through that route. Um, I do think that um, what's, what is helpful is that you only need a certain um, uniform with the logo on, whereas you can get um, trouser shirts. All that just from your local supermarket, so you don't have to you know, go to like pay a lot to do that. So what we're trying to help you know vulnerable parents and students um, access uh, funds to be able to to get the new uniform, so they're not disadvantaged. Most of our um, parents on intake, um, we don't necessarily have those relationships. We don't know that the parents might need the great support. So actually, when we did go to the uniform, we gave the entire school um, free school meal students um, all of the, all of their, their branded uniform items for free. Yeah they're very supportive. I do know a lot of parents who have had vouchers and they have had help um like say if that their shoes are broken we will loan them a pair until they manage to get some and it's the same with uniform and PA kills. The families are supportive because of the voucher system and the availability of uniform in school to, to loan until they manage to get some or even give them if they are struggling. consistency actually and, and it's really really easy to let little bits of the uniform slip but then when that happens students always find the grey area and when that happens that's when you see sort of branded items coming back in things like brand new footwear and, and we're really really rigorous so you know that we are in all black footwear and um, polishable shoes and um, school because we said that if you have trainers then the students will try and find the branded items but even still the students find those grey areas and they find branded items that they try to wear because I think we we stick we, we maintain that that kind of the policy the policy yeah we stick to that policy we don't seem to get those, those kind of issues and and and, and bring it in and what we've essentially got are students who look at other people and we think that's really important. Really well. When you go there to buy uniform in the morning, I mean, the school is quite good about it because they know that there's different circumstances for different people and then. The most of the time. So if they like, go do they like old uniforms? Yeah, uniforms. So if like off you can think that we're like next day we we'll just give it to you like stuff and then they would like if they were struggling to come afford the PA kit they would give them that and like wash it and stuff. We worked really hard this year actually with our um, year 11 cohort that just left. 
Um, and we've given them free leavers for these, and we've said, well, in return, please could you give us any items of uniform? And we've got a huge stock. And, and what that means is we've got spares to award students, but equally spares to give away to students should, should they need it. They like help to um, let students buy stuff like it from that. Yeah.